Hello Aquarius and welcome to Intuitive Clarity with yours truly Allison Nichols. Aquarius, as always, this is a general uh, tarot forecast. So if it doesn't resonate with you, always check out your moon and rising sign. Also, if you'd like to get your own personal Intuitive Clarity reading, there is an email link below. Click on that, shoot me an email, and we'll work out a time that works out best for both of us. And I do apologize. It has been months since I've been on, and I have missed you guys. It just got so busy. I went back to work and getting my grandson ready for school and blah, 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 blah. So that's what's going on. But I am back, and hopefully, hopefully I'll be a little bit more vigilant about doing them every month again. All right. Aquarius, cards are popping. Let's see what's going to happen for the month of August. Of course, we're going to do... Uh, numerology, clarification, um, three. Okay, so the month of August is carrying the energy of three, which is about uh, teamwork. It's about adding something uh, to your tribe, so to speak. So it could be about um, sometimes it's about adding a new family member, um, but traditionally it's, it's teamwork. So you might find yourself um, involved in more of a team effort in some way, whatever that might be, and um, which is always a happy thing. So three is kind of a fun energy to be in because you might find yourself a little bit more social too in um, a three energy. All right, so let's do some clarification. Excellent. All righty then. Okay, look at you go. All right, so week one, I get my magician. Okay, and magician is a fabulous card to have because it is about having all the tools that you need in order to do whatever it is you're trying to do. Okay, um, which kind of coincides with teamwork when you think about it. So every, everybody brings something to the table kind of thing. So that's kind of cool. So week one, whatever it is that comes up, you are actually able to um, handle it because you either have the knowledge or the tools or the power to make that happen. And then I get on top of that the key. So um, the key here is to use those tools, utilize those tools in week one with whatever it is that comes up that you might either find um, trying in some way or you just um, definitely need to use all your resources for, okay? Um, you have them. It's right here. Week two, I get my queen of wands, okay? She is a fire sign, all right? Um, if we're talking about a person, but she's also like a very intuitive. Um, she is Leo Sagittarius Aries, but traditionally Leo. And um, Leos are, tend to be very intuitive. They're good business women. I get the star, which is great. Um, so Aquarius, this is actually kind of telling me that if you are in a work situation, um, it appears that this person um, might see you as a star, okay, like the star employee. Um, if this is a social situation, um, you just might be on that, that week. Um, so you might be like the cat's pajamas that particular week um, where everybody wants your attention. Um, everybody is listening to you. You're getting a lot of recognition. Um, you're putting yourself out there. Leos tend to put themselves out there. They're, they're like the, if, if you want to have a party, um, have a Leo in charge because they know how to bring people in right? Um, so it does appear like you might be the star in week two. That's pretty darn cool. Week three, 
I do get my double reversed. And then on top of that, I get my rows, which is fabulous. My double reversed is about um, not being chained to something. Okay, so if you're trying to quit an addiction, whatever that might be, or something that you know you need to give up for your health, because this is about health too. Um, it's about beauty and health. So if you need to give something up, make some changes in order for you to be more, um, a bit more healthy, or um, maybe even feel more beautiful, this would be a good week to do that. We're going to do more clarification, too. Week four, um, I do get my five of pentacles reversed. Um, so there might be a bit of a financial issue going on here, but it's not awful because it's reversed, and it's around your home, okay, because I have the home reversed. So be kind of on the lookout for something that could drain your finances when it comes to your home, whatever that might be. All right, Aquarius, let's do some more clarification. Let's do these guys. Cards are not cooperating with the shuffle. Excellent. Okay. So week one, I get my nine of swords, which is worry, right? Um, so whatever pops up that is a worry to you, Aquarius, you got the tools, okay, to solve it. So don't worry so gosh darn much because you have the ability to solve it. You've got um, the tools, the ability. Um, you can master this, all right? So call into your resources. Um, but there is something that is going to cause you a bit of worry on week one. But you're okay because you have the ability to handle it. Week two, holy cow, page of hats, page of cups. Um, and that brings in love, okay? My page brings in news of love right on top of the star, right on top of the fiery Leo card. And so it does appear like you truly are the star. Um, you're going to be um, receiving a lot of love this on um, week two, whatever that might be, whether it is like a boss who is um, complimenting you a lot, um, it could be that a Leo comes into your life and gives you some type of a love offer. Um, it could be that everybody is just loving you this week. <laughs> week two is going to be fun for you, Aquarius. I'm kind of jelly on that one. All right, week three, I do get the full and new journey. This is fabulous. Remember I said you're giving something up that um, might have been bogging you down. Um, this could even be you change your hair. Um, it could be whatever, some, some type of a change that you make um, that makes you more healthy and it, it's putting you on a new journey. So that is, a, it's a new beginning for you. So that's great too. Holy cow, Aquarius. All right, and then we get the Hierophant on week four which is something that is either legal, traditionally handled in some way, um, and it's around your home. So there, there could be a bit of a loss of money. Be careful what contracts you sign involving your home in week four. Um, because there could be a loss of money in some form. Also, if there's something that needs to be attended to within your home, and I don't know, let's just say you rent 
and something breaks down, they might say that you are legally responsible to pay for it, to repair it. Um, same thing like if you own and something happens like, I don't know, a limb falls on your neighbor's roof, um, they might say you're legally responsible to pay for that. There is some type of a legal bond that is going to cause a bit of a financial loss on week four. All right. I'm going to do one last clarification card, Aquarius, and then I'm going to see how you're feeling going into the month of September. Whatever it is that worries you, that pops up, that causes you grief, on week one, you've definitely got the ability to handle it. Huh. Week two, you're the star. You are truly the star of the show. Um... Week three, you're starting a whole new journey. So you're giving something up um, that is going to be healthy, whatever that might be. It could be someone, all right? You could just be deciding to change yourself up. Maybe you've decided to invest in yourself in some way, new wardrobe, new something, um, and you're going to start a whole new journey. It's going to be healthy for you. Week four, I do want you to be cautious a little bit around your home. Mm. You saw this coming on week one. Um, I get the watchful eye. So whatever this worry is, you kind of saw this coming. Maybe that's why you are already prepared to handle it. Okay, um, because I do get the watchful eye. So this worry here, you already knew. The key to solving this is tap into your resources because you know how to handle this. Um, week three, I do get the mountain. Um, I believe it's like you can climb mountains this month, this week. All right, um, because you are totally on fire on week two. You, everybody is in love with you. You're getting a lot of praise or something. Um, but you, you have been able to, um, overcome something, um, quite huge where you're getting a lot of recognition for, or you are just able to climb a mountain. You have that kind of energy around you. It's fabulous. Um, Week three, I get the bear, which is good speculations. So whatever this change is that you are going to make in week three that is healthier for you in some way, um, whether it's mentally, physically, whatever, um, this new journey, it's, it's good. This is really good for you. And I said something about a tree limb. I get the tree reversed on week four. So something unhealthy um, going on in your home or around your home. There's something that you are going to be legally responsible for. Um, so do pay attention. Like I said, if, if there's a tree limb or something that falls on your neighbor's roof or something crazy like that, um, you could be held responsible for that. Um, if you rent and something breaks down, they could say that's your responsibility to pay for it. But definitely something around the home where there's a slight loss of money that they're going to say you're legally bonded. Something going on there. All right. That's what I have for the month of August. Um, I'm going to see how you're feeling, Aquarius, in the month of September, going into the month of September. And then we shall be done. Mm. 
queen of pentacles reversed. So you're going to be feeling um, a bit less wealthy um, going into the month of September, which could have something to do with that last week. So just kind of brace yourself. It's not, it is the queen. So it's not like you're broke. Um, it's just there was a layout of money that you had not planned on. So you might be feeling um, like you need to tighten up your purse strings a little bit going into the month of September. That's what I have. Um, of course, if you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments and um, comment anyway. I love reading them. And always like, share, subscribe, do all the things. Um, what I'm understanding with Facebook is the thumbs up, thumbs down kind of thing puts me um, up front in people's feeds. So the more of those I get, the better off I am. So please help me so I can help you more. And I will do my best to try to do these every month, get back on track. It's just been crazy um, personally with me. But I miss doing it. So I'm happy to be back, to be honest with you. All right. So that's what I have for August. And I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did reading them for you. It all looks really good, especially week two. Holy cow. And week three. Yeah, you're going to be doing great, Aquarius. All right. So until we meet again, Aquarius, I am always sending loving energy your way. Thank you.